Assembly Member Berry. Thank you. Um, yes, so I want to ask a bit more about um, data protection law. Um, the Information Commissioner's Enforcement Notice has some very, very stark conclusions on the issues <coughs> on which she can rule, which are data protection and privacy. Uh, she says that base, basic data protection practice has not been followed, and she comments on how the potential harm to people from this poor practice threatens public confidence in effective law enforcement. Now, we, we know you've said you've been reviewing the purpose and use of the matrix yourself for some time. Um, and you uh, may perhaps tell us that the review has started officially in July 2017. So can I ask when you first became aware that the gang's matrix was likely to be breaching data protection law in such wide-ranging and serious uh, ways? I can't, I mean, the problem is you get so much information, I can't actually give you a specific date when I knew. But I had concerns from before I was the mayor, as Senator Arnold has said. You know, before I was the mayor, people were telling me from Jeanette, David Lammy, many others, concerns around this operational uh, tool. In relation to individual breaches and processes and stuff, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you when I, when I knew about that, but I was, even though I knew what I knew, um, MOPAC were working closely with the ICO, and so, uh, including when the ICO published their enforcement notice, so MOPAC would have known during the course of the work being undertaken by the ICO of their concerns, and in fact, the ICO, and actually Amnesty, Amnesty International were invited onto the reference group, as many other harsh critics were as well, so, uh, you know, MOPAC were concerned, uh, we're talking to the Met Police about this, but in the meantime, we're working with others to make sure these concerns uh, were addressed. I mean, I'm looking through the action plan, and, and it's good to hear you've um, ensured, for example, that um, the informal lists have been deleted, because that's, that's incredibly serious in terms of data protection rules. But if, if you knew quite early on in your review, say a year and a half ago, that this was unlawful data retention. Why didn't you stop it straight away or, or put in place much sooner the action plan the Met now have? I think MOPAC have been doing that. So, for example, one of the things that were brought to the ICO's attention or brought to their attention by the Met Police Service, uh, the, the Newham case. And so it's an example of, because the ICO was part of the reference group and MOPAC were working with the ICO, some of these things were being action in real time. That doesn't mean the ICO shouldn't publish their enforcement notices. They should publish their enforcement notices. The Met Police should respond to the enforcement notices. But I think it'd be unfair to the MPS to suggest they simply carried on as they were without making See, changes to their problems. See, I'm, I'm not issues. feeling the urgency from them, though. I mean, the correspondence, the, the, the information that's been put out by the Information Commissioner says that they tried to put off um, completion of the action plan for a whole year mm -hmm. after November when the enforcement... Um, notice was um, issued, the Information Commissioner wanted three months and they've compromised on six to get all the steps completed. But it doesn't seem like the Met were taking this seriously. It in fact, it seems to have been the complaints from, from Liberty that triggered this rather than anything internal that comes from your review. Would you, would you agree with that? No, I don't think so. I've met the Commissioner to discuss this and uh, the Deputy Commissioner and uh, they've not given the impression of not taking this seriously or, or lacking the So why would the they urgency. want an extra year if everything was, was in hand and ready to go? I'm not sure about the extra year, but, but I mean, the, the, the conversations I've had with, with and those that, that, you know, that they both understand the importance of public confidence, as Jeanette said. They both understand the reason why uh, this is going to be sorted out sooner rather than later. And, and by the way, some of the things the Met Police are doing, or they've already announced, uh, aside from our review, goes further than what the ICOs are asking in relation to the website and other steps that the uh, Met Police Service are, are taking. And what should be reassuring to the Met Police Service is uh, the ICO aren't saying this is not a useful operational tool. Some people, by the way, would say that, that this should be abolished altogether. There should be no operational tool for the Met Police. If it's to breaking the law, I mean, it should be. So, so the Greens, for example, think there shouldn't be a gang's matrix chair. Now, I, I don't accept that the police shouldn't have this operational tool. I think the police should have this operational tool, but clearly it's going to be done lawfully. So I just it's going to be done in a way that doesn't breach laws and break processes, and that's why it's really important for the Met Police Service to take on board the concerns raised by the ICO and the enforcement notice. So I just wanted to ask, um, finally, about... Um, governance and oversight in the future. I think the Information Commissioner was very concerned about the lack of this from the Met's leadership throughout the process. Um, she says, um, there is no evidence that the MPS considered at any time the obvious private, privacy and data protection and equality impacts, whether by formal assessments or otherwise, until prompted to do this. Um, and I think there's a really strong case for, for you to take <coughs> a proactive oversight role in the ongoing maintenance of the gang's matrix from, from now on. So it isn't like cleaned up once and then allowed to slip again. 
Um, you've mentioned your um, specialist reference group, I think, that you've had during the review. Is there a case for keeping them on to keep overseeing this in lots of detail in future, just to keep a very close eye on this? Well, one of the things that the Met Police Service has done is to produce an action plan setting out how they're going to uh, redress the serious concerns raised by the ICO. And so they, they, they do, do that piece of work, and, and the Deputy Mayor for Policing and Crime ha has a role to play in oversight uh, there. Separately, I'll be publishing uh, the MOPAC review, the most authoritative review in relation to the gangs matrix, which will set out uh, a number of uh, recommendations for the MPS. And that will include uh, the role of myself uh, and Deputy Mayor Sophie Linden and others with the gangs matrix going forward.